Perth property market continued to hold steady in January in the face of eight consecutive interest rate increases during 2022. Now, REWA CEO Kath Hart said our market remains resilient and stable, particularly when compared to the East Coast. And while other capital cities saw values jump dramatically during the pandemic, the COVID effect was much more subdued in Perth, and as a result, we are seeing less of a correction following the interest rate rises. Now, Perth and WA are still in an excellent position to weather future rate rises with our strong economy, growing population, limited stock levels, and affordable housing. So CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index decreased marginally in January. It was down 0.3% from December, but down only 0.1% since October. So the Perth market really is holding quite steady. Now, all capital cities recorded declines, with Brisbane and Hobart seeing the largest falls over the month and over the past three months. Now, according to Reba.com, the top performing suburbs for house price growth in January were Fremantle, up 2.1% to $1,062,000, East Victoria Park, up 2.1% to $740,000, Yanjabap, up 2% at $540,000, Balladura was up 1.7% to $500,000, Mount Lawley was up 1.5% to $1,217,500, and Success was up 1.5% to $593,500. There are also $7,100 four properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of January. Now, this is up from the 12-year low of 6,931, which was reported last month, but it's 10% lower than the level seen a year ago. So Reba.com weekly data shows property listing level have been below, below 8,000 and close to 7,000 since about December 25. Now, Cathart said the number of new properties coming onto the market was a concern. She said, we saw the number of new listings decline 13% in the second half of 2022, and new listings in January are down 24% from a year ago. Now, this is what we would expect to see following interest rate rises as people become more cautious and wait to see what happens. Now, it has helped keep values stable as it's limited sales and it's limited supply relative to demand. However, if new listings remain low, we'll see the number of properties for sale continue to decline and the housing shortage worsen. And while there, we were expecting some relief uh, from building completions increased later this year, HIA data has showed new home sales in the last quarter of 2022 were down just over 30% compared to the year before. So suggesting that supply of new housing is declining. Now this will further exacerbate the housing shortage. Now Perth properties took a median of 27 days to sell in January and that was according to the Reba.com data. This was nine days slower than December and six days uh, slower than a year ago. And with respect to that, Kath Hart said, our data shows the medium time to sell traditionally increases in January when people take holidays and businesses close for some time over the festive season. So while this month's figures is higher than January 2022, market conditions have changed since then. Interest rates are causing some hesitation amongst buyers, and they're also quite discerning. So people are being a lot more choosy, there is limited choice out there, and they are waiting for the right property at the right price. Now, according to Reba.com data, the fastest selling suburbs in January were Huntingdale at five days, Queens Rocks and Safety Bay at six days, Belia, Coolangup and Cardinia at seven days, and Lansdale, Padbury, Tapping and Warnborough all rounding out the top there at eight days. Now turning our attention to the Perth rental market in January. So Perth's median rent price was up $520 a week. And this was unchanged from December, but it was $20 higher than three months ago and $70 higher than a year ago in January, 2022. Now Rewa CEO Kath Hart said, while the overall median remained steady, many suburbs recorded an increase in their weekly median rent in January. Now the top performers were Inglewood, which was up 40% to $625 a week. North Coogee was up 25% to $620 a week. Caranup was up 21% to $850 a week. Leaderville was up 21% to $668 a week. And demand continues to exceed supply across Perth. And under current circumstances, we can expect to see more price increases in rentals in the coming months. Now, there were 1,905 properties for rent on Reba.com at the end of January, a significant increase on the just below 1,500 reported just over a month ago. And it was also 10.8% higher than three months ago, but 18.2% lower than the same time last year. So we're seeing some more properties come on, but it's still lower than a year ago. Now, Kath Hart said this increase is a welcome change, but the rental market is likely to tighten further with the announcement that Chinese students are required to return to face-to-face -to -face studies at overseas campuses. Now, it took a median of 15 days to lease a rental during January, which was unchanged from December, and two days faster than a year ago. Now, suburbs are recording the fastest median leasing times with success at seven days, Yokine, Cloverdale, Harrisdale, PR Waters, and Westminster, all at nine days, Duncraig, Forestfield, Thornley uh, at 10 days, and Bentley at 11 days. Well, guys, that is it from me today. Please remember to like, 
comment and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, guys. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.